Welcome to the Russian Handbook, the channel where you'll learn how to sound like a native Russian speaker. Well, we have another very common verb today, and this verb is navishat. Now, navishat in English stands for to visit or to pay a visit, especially if we talk about people, because we use the verb navishat only when we talk about people in Russian, okay? So, navishat has three syllables, na, ve, shat. And the stress falls on the last syllable, shat, navishat, okay? Uh, listen again and repeat, navishat, navishat, navishat. Okay, great. So, um, there's a little uh, feature of the middle syllable here, so it's written as IV, like NA, V, SHAD, but it's not pronounced as a very solid V. Sometimes in spoken Russian, when people speak too fast, it sounds more like V, like NA, V, SHAD. No, not like NA, V, SHAD, but NA, V, SHAD, NA, V, SHAD. It's not like a very solid V as well, it's more like a something in a in between Y and E. NA, NA, V, SHAD, NA, V, SHAD. Navishet. You see, like, I'm not saying like Navishet, more like Navishet. Okay, so Navishet. Um, we're going to make a sentence, an example sentence. We will use the conjugated form of this verb. Uh, the conjugated form of the verb will be in the present simple in the Russian language. And uh, the present simple form for the first person uh, plural, which means we, yes, мы. So the sentence which we will make is Мы часто навещаем uh, своих друзей в другом городе. Okay. And in English, it's we often visit our friends in another city. Okay. Now let's break the sentence in parts and repeat, uh, first of all, part by part and then all uh, together. Okay. Мы часто навещаем своих друзей в другом городе. Мы часто навещаем своих друзей в другом городе. Мы часто навещаем своих друзей в другом городе. We often visit our friends in another city. Well done. For more interesting content, hit like and subscribe buttons below.